All right, what's going on, guys? Welcome to the video. <laughs> Did you hear that? A million birds just flew. Welcome to the video. I know in the last video I left a bit of a cliffhanger with the engagement, but we'll give you a little bit of preview. The full video is coming after this one. Let me show you guys something. So she said... Duh. She said yes. <laughs> it's a dream. We just we can't wait to see the real proposal because I don't remember a thing. I blacked out. What I want to do in this video is walk you through my current building or bulking diet. Now I know a few videos back I talked about carb backloading. I'm still using that approach for my current diet just because I feel amazing. Um, last week I incorporated some carbs back into my morning routine just to see how I was feeling with carbs coming back into my morning and it made me foggy, fatigued, lethargic again. So I trusted the process but I just wanted to verify I'm going back to this carbs after I'm working out in the afternoon. So breakfast, um, second meal of the day is just high fat, high protein. So my first meal right here is four whole eggs, one cup of egg whites, half an avocado, and a little bit of reduced sugar um, ketchup. So that's breakfast, and we'll get into the rest of the day. So this is another episode of the Build Series. <laughs> So today is a heavy deadlift day. So I'm gonna have to do a lot of mobility before going to this workout because yesterday was a heavy squat day. Right now I'm building the next version of Embrace the Suck training programs, which is going to be a bulking program and a cutting program. For the bulking program, I'm experimenting with some different things right now. That is a lower upper every other day, which I'm running right now and, and loving it. And a mixture between that and German volume training. So we'll uh, stretch out these hip flexors, these hamstrings, these quads, a little bit of band work, and then get into deadlifts. So I'm gonna work up with some singles right now. This is 545 on the bar. I am using a Texas deadlift bar, which gives a little bit more whip. It's a, it's a whippy, whippy type of bar. So it gives you a little bit more leverage off the ground the heavier you go. But I haven't worked singles on deadlifts for, for quite a while. So still reaching or trying to reach that goal of 700 again. Five eighty-five is where I'm going to stop today. A tool that I've been using to kind of assess progress, um, how I'm recovering and, and getting stronger in all my lifts is bar speed. Bar speed in bench and squat and deadlift. Uh, if the bar speed feels really slow from the beginning, obviously I might need some more recovery time, some more rest, all to regulate that workout. But for this workout right here, felt great. I'm going to hold it at five eighty-five. I probably could have pushed past that. Probably could have hit six today. Um, but I want to progressively work up towards that. So now I'm going to do the rest of this workout. Just a lot of volume stuff, pull-ups, um, pen lay rows, lat pull-downs, just hypertrophy type of work. And then I'm going grocery shopping for the bulking grocery haul of the week. So before going to HEB, I'm just going to do a shake for my post-workout. Just two scoops of milk and cookies whey. Just get some protein in me because it's already 
about 1 p.m. And that's what happens when you try skipping protein and filming at the same time. So, yeah. Okay, so Steph and I just got back from a grocery haul. So I kind of walk you through what we pick up on a weekly basis while I'm building or bulking right now. So we'll start over here and work our way down. So this makes up, I'd say 80% of my diet right now, starting with beverages. So these are all zero calorie beverages. I get tired of drinking water. Um, so whether I'm cutting or bulking, I always have like uh, Powerade Zero or zero calorie Gatorade, stuff like that. Uh, diet A and W root beer, because occasionally we'll make like root beer floats with uh, vanilla Halo Top or some sort of low calorie ice cream. And then cold brew, which we typically have sitting around. I'll start my morning with this uh, just to get things moving a little bit. And then we'll get into vegetables, fruits, carbs. So um, right now we're kind of in a kick of making fruit and veggie smoothies at a point in the day. Typically I'll do mine in the afternoon. So we got kale, we got baby spinach. We go through so many avocados. So I eat at least one avocado a day whether it's with my eggs for breakfast or we'll make guacamole, like we're about to make guacamole now. Um, so a bunch of avocados, like this is probably eight avocados and this will last us about a week. Lemons, we'll just put lemons in our water uh, or I'll mix it with my strong greens. Other greens, we got uh, green beans or French beans that we'll just bake in the oven with like olive oil. And then what I like to do is I'll pick up these vegetable kebabs. Now I won't actually like grill these or bake these or make them like this, but they're already pre-diced or pre-cut. You get a pretty good selection of different vegetables. So I'll throw this in with like a stir fry. Um, I'll make it with rice. I'll just start, uh, saute them, cook them up, and you have like some flavorful vegetables to throw in with a meal. So I like buying these a little bit more expensive because they're pre-cut and made in kebabs, but the variety and convenience is just worth it to me. Then carbohydrates. Um, right now I do a lot of rice. So this is just jasmine rice. Uh, we'll just throw it in the rice cooker and I'll have it for the week. We'll make some protein pancakes using Kodiak cakes that we just get at HEB. We do a lot of our grocery shopping at HEB, small stuff at Whole Foods and Sprouts. This is a low calorie ice cream that we haven't tried before. This is called Chili Cow. So typically we'll do um, like Halo Top or Enlightened stuff like that, just for if we're feeling something sweet at the night, end of the day or at night. Carbohydrate source, so like whole wheat English muffins. This is my favorite brand, it's Oro Wheat. I'll do this with like bacon and avocado on it. So I like these a lot. Bananas is primarily my main fruit source that I consume. Uh, bananas and strawberries, raspberries. Steph got me in a huge raspberry kick because of the fiber content. Tortilla chips, just because I love like salsa, guacamole, queso, any kind of dip we'll have occasionally. So we'll use this with guacamole tonight. We're always stocked with some sort of tortilla chip. Now, protein sources. Uh, primarily, we go through a lot of whole eggs, or at least I do. Whole eggs and egg whites in the morning is my, my breakfast, pretty typically. Egg whites, cheese, and avocado. So I go through at least, I'd say four to six eggs, whole eggs a day. And then other protein sources, we have just some fresh shrimp that we'll use for like fish tacos. Chicken thighs is my primary like chicken source. I really don't do chicken breasts anymore. Uh, chicken thighs are just a, a whole lot more flavorful, higher fat content, easier to get some calories in. Uh, convenience wise, I'll pick up, like this is um, like a, a sandwich meat, it's just turkey breast. So like for two ounces of this, 17 grams of protein, I'll just have this sitting around for convenience if I'm on the run, I just need something to eat really quick. Uh, bacon, so now that I'm building or bulking again, I'm incorporating actual real bacon back into my diet. We got some steaks. So there's some steaks that we'll throw on the grill for dinner at night. And then these are, HEB always has these Texas style um, boneless barbecue ribs. So there's pre-seasoned, it's just uh, like pork ribs and they're good, they're cheaper, it's a good source of protein. I've used these before and these are great. So these are culinary parchment cooking bags. These are really easy to, to meal prep or make a dinner. So essentially it's just a like, a parchment bag and you'll throw in your meat, you'll throw in your chicken or your steak or your pork or your fish, salmon in the bag with some olive oil, um, lemon, seasonings, and then you also throw in your vegetables. So like whether it's green beans or some of these cut up um, vegetable kebabs, uh, you can throw in like potatoes just in the bag, throw it in the oven, you cook it, 
and that's dinner right there. So that's the overview of a, a grocery haul while on the build or the bulk series. So now we start incorporating carbs back into the day. So this is one of my biggest meals of the day. This is like my second post-workout meal kind of. What we have here is eight ounces of chicken thighs uh, just made on the grill, a little bit of ketchup on it. And then these babies right here are my secret. So these are two English muffins. And what I do is I add a half of avocado, the other half of the avocado from this morning. I add Trader Joe's everything but the bagel seasoning. And I have three slices of bacon, really good full fat bacon spread across the little bagel thing. So it comes out, it's a little nice sandwich. You got the English muffin, everything but the bagel seasoning, guacamole, bacon. It was really a perfect combination. And then, for some more carbs, a banana here. So this is meal number three. So the BPN team is really good friends with the Brute Force Training Bags team. So they sent over a bunch of stuff. I'm gonna go outside and see exactly what they sent over. Now, what Brute Force really specializes in is sandbag training. And you know, a lot of the training I do, especially when I was in the military, transitioning out and stuff I do now is functional, like athletic training. Uh, and I'm always looking to incorporate something new that kicks my ass in my workout routine. So they sent these over. And like I said, like we have a really good relationship with them. They support BPN, we support you know their their business and what they do. So they, uh, they specialize in sandbags, in different size sandbags. They also have an app um, and a platform where you can get workouts from and learn from things they're doing. They have a community where they do, remember everyone deployed Fridays, Red Fridays. So it's a Facebook community where you do a community workout. So they sent over their 70 pound bags. I think they sent over their 150 pound bags. Um, they sent over their weighted vests that we'll start incorporating into some sort of training, me and Preston. Maybe we'll have some sort of like competition together. Um, but I'm going to start incorporating this stuff into my routine and I'll probably incorporate into the channel more often. So like I said, we teamed up with them. If you want to get any brute force training stuff, I will link it in the description box below. You can use code bear and it saves you 15% off. Um, but it's really high quality stuff and they give you training programs throughout their site. So what we have here is a little, little green smoothie that I mixed up just to get some, some greens and my strong greens in and a little bit more carbs. So what's in this right here is a little bit of kale, a little bit of spinach, one banana, eight ounces of orange juice, and then I throw in my scoop of strong greens in there. Now I'm not currently tracking macros during this bulk. For this video and for teaching purposes, I'm putting the macros of each meal so you can see roughly what I'm consuming on a daily basis. For me, I intuitively eat. So if my training is going well, I'm getting stronger, uh, my lifts are improving, my workouts feel great, then I will sustain that diet plan. If I start getting weaker or I don't feel strong during workouts, I'll either assess my diet to see if I'm eating enough or eating enough of the right foods or if I'm overtraining and just fatigued. So two of those things. Diet is a variable in training to improve. So if you have to track, you have to track. It's just one of those things. My last meal of the night, or typically Steph and I's last meal of the night, is the most calorically dense, it's the largest, and I'm the most full. It's just the way I like going throughout the day. I like smaller meals that are, like I said, higher in fat, higher in protein, lower in carb, just because my energy is better. I feel better, my digestion, my stomach, everything is just like, like an energy drink nonstop all day. And then at night, I'll really load up on carbs, so carb backloading. Tonight, what we're gonna do is I'm gonna do probably two cups of just jasmine rice. I'll cook this in the rice cooker. Probably have a tablespoon of coconut oil for some more fat, and then we're gonna cook up steaks. So I got these at HEB. These are the ones I just picked up. And this is a New York strip steak, probably like eight ounces. It's 26 grams of fat. So that's where I'm gonna wrap up the video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Just a little insight on what I'm consuming on a daily basis to build muscle, get stronger. So this is the build.